feet supported in any way that lifts your hips a bit higher than your knees. So the pelvic bowl can pour forward and your groin muscles can relax. And we move the lower back curve in and the heart up. If I were to give you only one cue, it would be that just to lift the heart up and see what happens. Lower back curve moves in, shoulders roll onto the back. Press down through your sits bones and kind of bounce off gravity with that energy and lift up through the crown of your head. Playing with the opposite actions to find steadiness in center. And that physical rooting down to lift tall. And we'll begin to bring awareness to the breath and extend your exhale and pause in the emptiness. Long, full inhale and pause in the fullness. As it feels right to you, just melt that exhale out, softening eyes, jaw, tongue, shoulders, lower back, grounding and feeling your earth body empty. As you inhale, welcoming breath, lifting up, opening to the sky, lifting through your heart. And let the exhale soften, soften, and extend the exhale. So then you begin to get, engage into your core. Draw your navel back and your pelvic floor up at the end of the exhale. We'll be using that more as we go along. So play with that right now in this easier way when we're in stillness or relative stillness. Inhaling and filling up, allowing softening and lengthening. And the exhaling, again, just deepening that softening, letting go of any tension and engage at the bottom of the exhale. Extend it, empty as fully as you can. And we really play with the breath here in this way, getting as much sense of fullness and stretch or expansiveness as we can. Feeling that and then letting go trusting that flow of life and letting go what is ready to be let go of and pausing in the emptiness, emptying as fully as possible without force. Let the breath as it wants to naturally rush back in. Continue in this way with the pause, with the core engagement and with that noticing of that rooting to rise energy, the pressing down that lifts you up. Remembering ourselves at ease in the fullness, all the feels, all the busyness, at ease in the emptiness, just being, no thought, no mind, no doing, just being. And of course, being human, thoughts will continue to arise, sensations and feelings. And let's just acknowledge whatever arises. Yes, body, mind, I hear you. And we're not trying to force or push anything away as when we do, it usually will just get bigger and stronger. Same with ignoring it. But when we acknowledge it and then choose what we would want to be there, our yes, I am. So I've been moving and life's been really windy and we're all in this great unknown with this pandemic. And so there can be a, a feeling of unsteadiness. And so one of my default mantras lately has been, I am steady, I am at ease because that doesn't often feel like my truth. 
But as I repeat that and practice with that mantra, I can feel the change in my physiology and in my mind and the chemicals in my body and in my physicality. So I encourage you to find a mantra that welcomes the energy that you would choose to feed, to nourish, to develop, to shine outward today, what matter, no matter what happens or doesn't. And to breathe into that, yes, and repeat it. And let this repetition and the ritual of our practice carve a deep sanskara of that yes, that we may default to our yes instead of our fear. I want to invite you to add some movement with that. We'll warm up slowly in the physical body. Hands to the knees and give a little pull on your knees, heart forward. That's your inhale. As you exhale, pull the navel back and curl chin to chest around through your spine. Inhale, pull on the knees, heart forward, shoulders on the back. Exhale and press into your thighs. Pull your navel back and round through your spine. Let your breath lead. Next time that you roll back, let's inhale and lift tall to center, root down. Feel that continuing vinyasa or movement of energy in the undulations of your spine. Breathe your yes, and let's go into the side body. Bring your right hand or forearm down next to your hip. Press into the earth there and root into that left sit bone as you reach that left arm up and over. Roll the bottom ribs, face chest to the sky, and stretch out through those top fingers. Breathe as deeply as you can into the bottom tip of that lung there. Empty as completely as you can, letting go of metabolic waste. Stay there, or let's take a few arm vinyasa here. Inhale, open. As you reach away, let that bottom ear get heavy, get that neck shoulder release. Last full time around. And we'll use this next one to swoop us back up to sit. Take pause in center. Notice what you've affected. Maybe feel a little longer on that side or lighter. And we'll slide it on over second side. Down to the hand or forearm. And again, really push and root down through that right sit bone to reach out of it and get as much side body length as you can. Roll bottom ribs, face chest to the sky. And inhale, reach and stretch out sit bone to fingertips. You can really feel into and imagine into emptying out, scooping out that bottom tip of your lung with fresh breath. Stay as you like or inhale, open arm vinyasa, exhale, reach away, heavy bottom ear to get that top neck and shoulder release. Inhaling open, exhale and swoop. Last full time around. And then let that next one swoop you back up. Inhale both arms up and kind of wiggle up out of the waist there. And then as you exhale, left hand to right knee, right hand behind you. Inhale, press down into all points of contact and exhale, spiral deep. Scoop your shoulder blades down the back and lift your heart. Inhale tall and as you exhale, squeeze low belly, low back together. Look as far behind you as you can with both your head and your eyes. Really stretch the eyes as far as you can to that right side or, you know, to the far corner of the right side of your eyes. 
and breathe into that stretch of your eyes. Another great way to break patterns of thought is by really stretching our visual scope. Often, especially on the computer so much these days where we've got a very narrow line of focus and that can show up energetically or in our thoughts and creativity as well. Let's follow the next inhale to come back. And again, stretch the arms tall. Wiggle up and exhale, spiral, other side. Right hand to that left knee, left hand down, root into all points of contact, lift tall, tall, and exhale, spiral deep. Pull the low belly and low back together. Look over that left shoulder, rotating the neck and stretching the eyes as far as you can this way. Soft jaw, soft tongue. Scoop that bottom shoulder down the back and lift your heart. Breathe and repeat your mantra. And then come on back to center. With an inhale, stretch the arm set. And exhale, let's bring the hands together to the crown of the head. Pause, if you will, may we awaken to our oneness our interconnectedness. Hands to third eye center, may we see clearly, knowing beyond words. And hands to the mouth, may we speak our truth, may we watch our words and our thoughts, and again, practice to choose them as we would. Hands to the heart, may we be present for whatever arises, with courage, with kindness, with compassion. May all of our effort and energy be for the greatest good. May all beings benefit. Exhale and pour your breath out. Inhale your hearts, yes, if you will. Join me, one great om. Big breath in, interlace the hands and exhale, press the palms forward, pull your navel back, squeeze your breath out. Inhale, press the palms to the sky and lift up out of the waist. Exhale, side bend, turn your face down, soft jaw, neck release, <sighs> letting go breath. Inhale, press back up to center and exhale, other side, face down, soft jaw. Inhale up to center, Kali Mudra, palms together, extend the first finger and squeeze your head with your shoulders and upper arms. Inhale, inhale, squeeze, squeeze, reach and exhale. Let it go and melt it down. Nice fluid roll out for the neck, shoulders, mouth. And for those of you who are just joining, we're going to grab a strap and a block and a ball if you have one, like a lacrosse ball or a tennis ball. If not, I'm going to give options for all those things, but those things could make this more enjoyable for you. So I'm going to grab a strap and we're all going to come to lie on our backs. First, just hug your knees into your chest once you get to your back body. Have your strap and block within reaching distance, or of course you can get up and get it later. But as you come to lie down, again, we're just feeling into the back body, into the breath. We're gonna focus on balance today, not just of mind and thoughts, but also in the physical body. So we'll be paying some special attention to core, which we wanna be hugging everything into to support our balance as well as the feet and the legs. So beginning just back body, spine, breathful, and we'll begin to draw some circles with the knees together. Draw circles around your sacrum, that big bone at the base of your spine. And then draw those circles the other direction. And then take your knees into separate circles. Draw the circles wide and back together. Mm. 
Big breaths in the nose, out the mouth. Switch the direction of those circles. You might even take circles with the jaw here. And notice that whenever you're clenching in the mouth, the mind's likely to be more busy and your hips will be tighter, your shoulders and neck will be tighter. So ah, letting go breath, sighing out, horse lips, ah, lion's breath, toning, all of that always welcome and encouraged. All right, so now we're going to come into core a bit. You could squeeze a block between the legs for this one or just keep the legs squeezing together like one unit and bring the arms alongside of you. I like to use a field goal or saguaro cactus arms for this. So elbows out to the side, back of the hands on the floor, any variation of arms that keeps your shoulders on the back. And inhale and hug the knees in, squeeze those legs together. And as you begin to exhale, we're going to bring the knees over to one side and then press them straight out through center. Pull the knees in to the other side, back to center. And exhale as you press out and away. Use the bottom of the exhale there, pulling the navel back for the hardest part. And the inhale as you draw back in. Big circles. Try to keep the shoulders rooted. So this is really beneficial for core and shoulders. Core goes up almost into your shoulders, really into your armpit. Lots of the same muscles. Next time you come back to center, let's switch directions. Next time you come back to center, hug your knees in. Let's extend the legs to the sky. So options here, if straight legs feels like too much, you're going to want to put your block off to the side for now. If straight legs feels too much, you can always do bent knees. We're going to do the same kind of circles we just did, rotation of the femur and hip sockets with um, the core this time. So inhale, open legs wide and exhale, swoop them back together down low. So big, big circles. Inhale, open wide to the side. Exhale, swoop them down low and back together in center. Inhale, you can even be pulling them up towards your face a bit. Exhale, swoop big and wide with your breath. Use the exhale on that hardest part so that you're really pulling the navel back and not letting your lower back curve pop up. Your natural lumbar curve could be lifted slightly, but we don't want to let it pop up. Next time you come back to center, switch directions. And next time you come back to center, pause. And let's go ahead and grab our block now and bring your block so that the short, narrow end is facing you between your upper inner thighs. Really bring it up high. So again, the core starts from the upper thighs up to almost the armpits. So getting that core engaged by squeezing onto the block. If you don't have a block, it's okay. Just really squeeze your legs. Let's begin with robot arms, elbows bent at the sides. Place the feet to the floor. Knees bent, and we're gonna play with a little bridging and just stretch out that core work. And press into the elbows, face to the sky, squeeze the shoulders onto the back, really root them down, lift your chin so that you're on the center back of the head with the pressure. And at first, just push into your elbows, push into the center back of the head and get the shoulders on the back as much as you can. Squeeze that block and press into the heels as you inhale, lift hips, lower back, middle back, upper back, lift your chest. As you exhale, lower down, upper back, middle back, lower back and hips. Following your breath, inhale, root to rise, articulating the spine up and exhale, rippling your spine back down. Let your breath lead. We'll do three or four more of those. Breathe your yes. Repeat your mantra into this opening, into this wave of your spine.
No matter what happens or doesn't, I'm choosing to show up steady and at ease. And so we breathe that into a present tense and affirmative mantra. I am steady. I am at ease. I am steady and at ease, whatever it is for you. Take your time. The next time you come up, let's interlace the hands behind you. Squeeze the palms together. Squeeze your shoulders on the back. Squeeze onto your block and, and imagine you're trying to pour the block down to the earth. Even try to do it. We want to get that rotation in the thighs to spread sacrum a bit and lengthen tailbone. Inhale, lift hips Lift the chest, lift your chin, squeeze shoulders, breathe wide across the wings of your heart. <sighs> Simply breathful here or long ahs, open jaw, open throat, try to sing down into your heart and vibrate that jewel of your heart bright, also toning your vagus nerve. <sighs> ah. Ah. Inhale, root to rise, lift up brightly as you exhale, release your hands and ripple on down to the earth. Step your feet as wide as your mat. We'll do just a little massage for those outer hip flexors here. Feet as wide as the mat, knees bent, and reach the knees side to side as you stretch the arms up overhead. Big breaths here for a few more each side. If you wanted to pause with that ankle and knee and stretch it down to one side for a couple breaths each side as you, as you like, you're welcome. Or windshield wiper, last two or three breaths. And take your time. When you're ready, come on back to center and hug your right knee into your chest. Give a little rock of that right thigh into your center and extend out as you're ready through your left heel. Push through that left heel leg along the ground, straight leg, draw the toes back, really muscularly active left leg. Try to keep that pressing down through that left leg. So again, we're really anchoring to give a support to the opening of the opposite side. And I have to sneeze. That was a fake one. Okay, maybe I don't. Good, the fake one worked. All right, so go ahead. <laughs> Little humor for your morning. Grab your strap and just fold it in half. So no loop in the strap, just one long strap, probably buckles on one end and not so on the other. You could use a belt or a bathrobe strap or anything you need as well. Uh, also, you don't have to have a strap, but if you do, it could be good here. We're gonna hook whatever kind of strap you've got under the ball of your foot. If you don't have a strap, just hold onto your leg. If you've got a strap here, you might wrap your hands and pull down as you push the ball of your foot back into that strap. Pull down as you press and shift that right hip down away from your legs. So it's the same thing if you're holding onto your leg, pull it towards you as you press it back through your fingers like you're trying to squish your leg through your fingers. Work your shoulders onto the back. So maybe you hold lower on the strap or your leg so your shoulders can be on the back. Pull down as you press up, get that opposite or isometric action. Shift the right hip down away from the ribs. Toes are active on both feet, spread them out. Toes draw back towards center and the heels reach away. Big breaths in the nose. <sighs> Out your mouth. Now, if that's really intense for you, you could also play with bending the knee a bit. Really pull your quadriceps up, 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 and let that pull of the quadriceps up be what straightens the leg again. So you can even bend the knee a whole lot and pull down, and then pull up those quadriceps and push them into your thigh bone to get the leg to straighten again. Let that be what gets the hamstrings open, is the strength on the front of your leg. So again, balanced action. We're using muscle musculature on one side to support opening in the other side. Last couple breaths here.
And then if you've got a strap, take both sides of that strap into your right hand. Bring the strap around the back of your knee and then pull from the inside of your knee so that you're externally rotating that femur, or the thigh bone in your hip socket, and your toes are pointing out to the right as much as you can. You could just do that with the hand on the inside of the leg if you're not using the strap. And open those toes out to the side. Point the right toes towards the earth as much as you can. Reach out through both heels. You could use your left hand to encourage that left hip or thigh bone down. Reach out actively, big breaths in the nose, out the mouth. One more big breath cycle. Please stay longer if something's just melting for you there. If your body asks you to otherwise, use your arm strength and pick that leg back up. Unwind the strap and hold it with your left hand. Bring your right thumb to your hip crease. Push that hip crease down. Push the thigh bone away from the ribs and really press into your sacrum, the big bone at the base of your spine. Root it, imprint it flat on the earth. Keep it that way as you slowly work that right leg across body towards the left. We are not going into full twist right now. We're trying to keep sacrum down, hip shifted down as that right leg moves over as far as it can without the sacrum popping up and breathe into that, I'm gonna say delicious sensation outside of your right leg. So maybe IT band, tensor postulata, outer set of hamstrings. Hello everyone, good morning. Breathing that sensation, yes. You could stay with that as long as you like or take that leg all the way over into your twist. Now the sacrum can come up. You could use your strap there. You could have a bent or straight leg and take it as far across as you like. And then use the hands that the leg's moving towards to help the leg down and lift and turn your head as far as you can onto the ear looking away from your leg. Big breaths in the nose and out the mouth. Pull your navel back. Big stretchy fullness and letting go. A little hug into the emptiness. A few more breaths. And slow and steady, come on back, bending both knees. You can remove the strap for a moment and stack that right ankle over your left thigh. Interlace the hands behind the left thigh and pull left thigh back. Flex the right foot strongly as you do and use your right elbow to ease the right thigh away. Soften your jaw and play with that opposite action. Pull in as you ease away. If you want to add to that, again, isometrics or uh, balanced action, sacrum to the earth. Try to work low back curve up. Ah, soft jaw, breathe it. Rock and roll it around as inspired. Please stay with that as you like or options, a little more stretchy back line. You could walk up over the uh, top ankle and curl in to that um, bottom foot, maybe even draw it overhead towards your face into like a halasana or plow pose variation. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Yeah, I'm in class. My daughter's on a cross country drive, so I had to say hi. Hi. <laughs> my daughter and my husband. Stretching it out, big breath, stay with that, or core work. And keeping the same setup of the ankle and knee, inhale, interlace, hands behind the head, and exhale, curl in. With your breath, inhale, open, exhale, curl.
You could keep that setup of the legs, land the bottom foot, and take the top foot across body to the earth. So the top foot standing and the outer left thigh is landed. Hold the head with the right hand and inhale, stretch the left arm up. Exhale, reach past that right leg with your left hand, pulling navel back strongly to get your shoulders up. Inhale, open. Exhale, reach. Last two. And take your time, unwind, and come on back to center. Again, hug your knees in, just neutralize your spine and ground there in center. And then as you're ready, just hug that left knee in and extend the right leg along your mat. Really actively draw those right toes back. Spread the toes out and reach out through the heel. Toes draw back towards the face, heel reaches away. If that's too much, you could always stand on that foot. It'd be just fine. Hug into your right uh, left knee and give a little massage into your core with that thigh. Rock it side to side. <sighs> Please stay with that as you like, or again, grab your strap, have that center fold of your strap just underneath, kind of cradling the ball of the foot, or again, just hold onto your thigh. Wrap your hands and pull down with your hands, get the shoulder blades on the back, stretch those toes back towards your face, spread the toes out and push the ball of the foot back into the strap. Pull down, press back, opposite action, find that balance point between the two, shift the left hip down away from the ribs. Usually that'll get things a little more sensational there. And big breaths in the nose and breath out the mouth. Again, stay here, really just grounding the weight of that leg into the back body, breathing your hamstrings a bit, or play with that pull down, bend the knee, shoulders on the back, and exhale, lift the quadriceps and push them into your thigh bone to straighten the leg. So that'll work the quads a bit more and give more support to the extension of the lengthening of your hamstrings. A few more breaths here. Oops, I wore green pants. I forgot I'm not supposed to wear green pants anymore because a green screen. Oh well, hopefully you can all see me today enough as we work as we work on the legs. And so now we're gonna take that strap to your left hand, both sides of the strap. Bring it around the outside of your left knee, behind your left knee, and then give a little pull so that you're externally rotating toes to the left. Again, that could be done just with your hand. And as inspired, we're gonna keep those toes pointing towards the earth as much as you can as you open that left leg out to the side and keep your right foot, uh, right thigh and hip rooting down. So bring the right hand to that thigh or hip, press the right hip down, reach out through both heels and draw back through all your toes. Big breaths in the nose, out the mouth. A couple more deep, full breaths. Letting go breaths. Please stay there longer if something's just beginning to melt or move for you or use your arm strength to pick that leg back up. Unwind your strap and switch hands. Hold on to the strap with your right hand. Bring your left thumb to your hip crease and push the head of that femur down. Really root the hip down and thigh bone away from the ribs. And press strongly into the sacrum. Root it into the earth. 
Keep sacrum down, hip shifting down, and slowly bring that left leg across towards the right. It may not even go halfway or uh, more than halfway, but that's okay. Just really root sacrum, active toes, both feet. Big breaths in the nose, <sighs> soft jaw. Breathe the outside of that leg. Draw the toes back strongly. Soft tongue. Breathe right into wherever that sensation or resistance is arising. Breathe and repeat your mantra, your yes. Stay there as you like or slowly, slowly mount that leg all the way across the body. Sacrum lifts up and becomes perpendicular to the earth. You could stay holding the strap here or use that right hand to help your leg across. And left arm, hand open to the side, palm up. Lift and turn the head as far as you can get onto that left ear. And breathe the twist. Inhale, lengthen spine. Exhale, squeeze and spiral deeply. Last couple of breaths here. Uh, sigh it out, extend that exhale, pull the navel back, empty, empty, empty. And take your time. When you're ready to come back, bend both knees, left ankle over right thigh. Interlace the hands behind the right thigh and pull that right thigh back towards center as you flex those left toes back strongly and ease your left thigh away. Opposite actions, pulling in to press away, rooting sacrum to lift the lumbar spine, soft jaw, breathing those isometrics, or rock and roll it around as inspired. Please stay with that as you like, or maybe play with a little more back line stretch and extend the lower leg. Walk up over the top ankle and reach for that upper foot or ankle. Maybe curl up to it as you draw it towards you. Maybe overhead towards halasana or plow pose. Deep, full breaths. Stay with that as you like, or let's add some core, about 10 breaths. Interlace the hands behind the head. Ankles are active. Uh, on that top ankle, it's really active. Both knees are bent. Inhale, interlace the hands behind the head. Elbows wide. Keep them wide. Exhale, navel back. Pull sacrum up. Shoulder blades up. Inhale, open. Let that exhale, the navel pulling back, be what pulls the sacrum and shoulders up, as well as pulling back that bottom thigh towards your face. For five, once you're done with that, uh, we'll do the cross body version. Land the bottom foot, keep the setup of the legs, and step the left foot cross body to the floor. Outer right thigh lays on the floor. Inhale, reach right arm up. Left hand holds the base of your skull. And exhale, reach that right arm past the left thigh, drawing the shoulder blades up, navel back. Again, try not to pull the head at all. Let it really be the, the pull of the navel back that helps you curl up here. With your breath. Seven. Five. Three. And take your time. Inhale, stretch it out. Exhale, back to center. Unwind, hug your knees into your chest. We're going to come to hands and knees. Actually, no, I want to just come right into a right foot lunge. So you low lunge. So you could roll over to your side and set up for that or possibly across your right ankle over your left knee and begin a little rock and roll forward and back on your spine. And maybe if you've got that right ankle over the left, any rock forward and back, you build up enough momentum to land that right foot 
And just jet the left foot straight back. And we'll play here with a little pulsation. Shoulder blades down the back, heart forward, inhale. Exhale, melt head and back knee towards the ground. Inhale, stretch and open. Exhale, melt down. Two more. And then go ahead and land the back knee. We'll play into the hamstrings on the front leg again. At first, just kind of push into that front foot strongly, press through the big toe to pull that right hip back and straighten the leg. And if that's a lot for you, or just if you prefer that, you could play with that again, just pulsing in and out. Or as you stretch back, spread your toes out and drag your hip back. Again, you could keep going with that, stretching back. Or we've got our blocks here. If you've got a little more stretch and you want to really play into how much length and love you can give your hamstrings today, then bring your block, uh, your foot to the block, spread the toes out, pull onto the block, and push into the block with your foot in order to get the hamstrings open more. So you're going to keep lifting the quadriceps, lift your navel a bit and pull your hip back as you press into your foot. Feel how the more active that foot is, the more that you press, the more opening and aliveness you get in your leg. So any variations here that help you feel ah, breathful and spacious in your hamstrings. You could always just hold the foot as well. I find it really helpful to find that point of contact to press into. And this kind of feedback is the same thing that we want actually when we're in standing poses, this kind of push onto the earth to bounce off of to find more space. Deep, full breaths in the nose, out the mouth. Sorry, it seems to be a busy morning for communication. I don't know if you can hear that, but. And let's release that. Bring the foot back forward and down. Hands inside the front leg. Lift your back knee up. Squeeze the hip square. Pull right hip back, left hip forward. Squeeze the inner thighs together and stretch right arm forward as you pull the hip back. Inhale, open right hand, face chest to the sky. Exhale and reach back, heavy bottom ear. Again, big arm vinyasa. Last big inhale, open, and as you exhale, come on down inside that front leg. Deep, full breaths in the nose, <sighs> out the mouth. Two more breaths here. Give a little squeeze to the glutes on the left side, especially, so you get a little more smile there in your quadriceps, uh, your psoas, really. Yeah, quads too, actually. <sighs> Next inhale, come up onto your hands. Hug strong to your core, pull those legs together and open that right leg out to the side, step back, plank pose. Inhale, strong core, long spine and plank. Exhale, shift forward a bit and pull elbows and shoulders back as you lower down to the earth. Point your toes straight back and pull with your hands, elbows and shoulders on the back. Inhale and open up into cobra. Squeeze shoulders, breathe wide across the wings of your heart. Ah. <sighs> Shine it out, your yes to life. Breathe and repeat that intention, I am. One more inhale here. And exhale back, child's pose. Press the hands forward, extend the child's pose, hips back, and give your hips a little wiggle, wagging your tail side to side. Breathe that release in your low back. 
Inhale here, lengthen it out as you exhale, ripple on forward with that left foot. Second side, low lunge, and hands frame that front foot, pull the shoulder blades down the back. Inhale, back toes under, and stretch out through that back heel. Heart forward, headlong, reach out through the back heel, and exhale, melt back, knee down, head down. <sighs> Letting go, let's do four more of those. Inhale, open. Exhale, melt. And then go ahead again and land the back knee. Stretch that front leg long. Spread your toes out. Drag your heel back. Pull back from that hip. Mm -hmm. I went into that a little different on the other side. So maybe you want to play with that. Push through the foot. Push through that big toe. Feel that connection of that push to the pull back of the outer hip and lengthen hamstrings. Good. There's a little different. Stay with that. Or as inspired, pulse lunge and extension, drawing the heel back, dragging it back without moving it, pulling that hip back, pulsing in and out. Or again, grab your block, or maybe just your foot, and push the foot into your block, or wall works too, or your hands. Press, press, press into that foot. Use that push to pull the hip back, square the hips, lengthen up through the tailbone, lower back in, heart forward, pulse in and out as needed, or just breathe into this awakening for your hamstrings. And another breath cycle here. And take your time. When you're ready, come on out, back into the lunge, back toes under, lift the knee, squeeze the inner thighs together, and reach that left arm forward as you pull your hip way, way back. Squeeze those inner thighs, strong core, so you're light on the bottom hand, and open left hand, face chest to the sky. Reach back as you do, let your bottom ear go heavy to the shoulder, soft jaw, stretch it out. Arm vinyasa, four more breaths. As you exhale down this time, hands or forearms inside the front leg, lizard lunge. Back knee can come down if you need, keep it up if you can, and squeeze the glutes so you get a little more smile in that the, uh, psoas there. And quads, big breaths in the nose, out the mouth, letting go breaths. And next, inhale up onto your hands, squeeze those inner thighs square, lift the back knee, and open that front leg out to the side, steady back plank pose. Inhale, strong core, long spine and plank. Exhale, shift forward and lower to the earth, or chaturanga, three breaths, up dog or cobra, squeeze the shoulders, press into your legs, again, find that rebounding, that rooting to rise, and the engagement of a core to breathe more opening. Last big inhale and exhale, lift from your hips up and back, downward dog. Let's play into the feet a bit more here. Spread the fingers wide and inhale, lift up onto your tiptoes. Exhale, root down into your heels, lift the toes. Pulse up, heels up onto the tiptoes. Exhale, heels down, lift the toes with your breath. Relax your neck. And then let's walk the feet forward to meet your hands. Pause in a forward fold and shake your wrists out. Shimmy your shoulders out. Give your head a little nod or roll around. Bend the knees as much as you need to be breathful here. You could hold your head or hold the elbows if you like. 
Any variations here, a few more breaths. Breathing back body. As you do, hug your feet to the earth and just like on your block, push down into your feet, squeeze the earth, lift your arches as you press down through the rest of the foot and feel what happens in the legs there from that activity in your feet. Inhale there as you exhale, lift from your arches, knees, quads, navel, root to rise, and roll on up to stand. Wow. I'll take a little longer to get to standing than I planned, but here we go. We'll do all our peak poses in a swift little flow here with a little pause to give some love to your feet. So let's grab your ball if you have one. If you don't have a ball and you just want to take a sit and give a little massage to your feet, that's great. Also, I've had people use onions. You could grab a good firm onion there, round as you can be, and uh, bring it to the floor. Let's bring our onion <laughs> under the ball of your right foot. So where the strap was there, just underneath the ball, right as it gets tender. And then lean into the ball and lean back out of it. Lean on in and back out. Couple little pulses here into that tender spot just beneath the ball of the foot. Play with how much uh, sensation you can get there. Notice if there's an edge that makes you tense and see if you can soften around that instead. And then lean in with as much weight as you can with the ball underneath the big toe. Press into that and roll from big toe over to pinky toe side. Weight back off. Bring the ball back underneath the big toe mound and then roll on over to the outside. Again, weight back off, lean in beneath the big toe and roll on over with your breath, a couple more. And now we're going the length of the foot. Lean in beneath the ball of the big toe and roll on through the arch there to your heel. Mmm, delicious. And we'll do three of these. So this first line outside, but underneath the ball of the big toe down. Ooh, sensational. So we're gonna do five breaths on each line, three different lines. This can be done with a smaller ball underneath each of the feet, but I'm using a lacrosse ball and I believe that most of us are, so or some such thing, so bigger. So we'll go to the middle of the foot now, lean in and roll down. Again, just beneath the ball of your foot, but center and medial on your foot. Inhale back to that root and roll down towards the heel. Weight off, come on back. Lean in, ah, roll through, last breath or two. After you've got about five on that one, pinky toe side and lean in, roll on through. Once you've rolled through five times or so on that outside, bring the ball just under, um, on the arch of the foot again, but just at the base of your heel. So right at the base of your heel, in the tender part still, but right there above the heel. But we're gonna press into that foot on the floor and rock side to side, massaging into that area there, these are like the lower organs of digestion. That's where that is, all the acupressure points. So not just hamstrings and feet here, but we're getting all the organs with this little um, fairly acu pressure massage with the ball today. And pause once you're done there. Actually, let's scribble up through the whole foot and just kind of scribble around, connect all the parts. And breathe it and wherever that is really tender, just know you might want a little more. And you can always do it even sitting down in a chair later while you work. Um, and pause. Notice the difference in the sides. I can really feel that all the way up the leg, maybe even further. And when you're ready, second side. This ball just beneath the ball of your foot. Lean on in. And come on back. We'll just pulse in and out, letting that foot know we're coming, warming it up. What we're looking to do here is really fluidize, connect all the 
parts get things really fluid that may be bound up from shoes or habits of feet or whatever it is. As well as, of course, all the systems we're affecting. Next time you roll, uh, come off, bring the ball just beneath the ball of the big toe. Lean in, pressure, and roll it all the way across to the pinky. Come back off of it with the weight. Lean back in underneath the ball of the big toe and roll on through over to the pinky. Three more. With the breath. And once you've done five across like that, come beneath the center of the foot, lean in and then, uh, not the center, sorry, beneath the ball of the big toe. Lean in and then roll on through, ah, down to your heel. Wow, this one's way more sensational than the other one. Don't know how it is for you, but just noting, <laughs> in case I'm making weird sounds, that's why. Yeah, this is a nice thing to do. It used to be we would get foot massages, but not today. So coming to the center, roll on through, same thing, all three spots, about five breaths or five rolls through each spot from ball of the foot to heel. And then once you're done that, to the pinky and down. And once you've done that, again, we're going to bring the ball to just the bottom of your arch, right above the heel where it's still tender. Lean on into that and little rock side to side. Massaging those lower organs. This can be great for digestion. Stay with that as you like or just give a little scribble through your whole foot, connecting all the parts. All right, and take your time. Once you're done, release it. Feel your feet on the earth, grab your strap. So we're just gonna do the same shapes that we already did, except on our feet. So maybe feel into your feet a moment. Again, lift and spread the toes, rock into toes, rock into heels, forward and back. And strong feet hug the earth, muscles hug the bones, everything hugs to midline. Lift your heart and pour the weight into your left foot. Slide that right foot up the inseam, reach down for your knee. Again, this could be done with a strap or without one. You could hold the knee the whole time. You could hold your foot or take your strap around the ball of the foot once again. Wrap your hands and press through straight out in front of you. Use the hold of the strap to get shoulders on the back. Lift your heart and breathe here. Use a wall if you need to for support. Again, keep the knee bent if you need to or want to. It's up to you. Other hand could come to your hip and root down. Push down again through that standing leg. Feel how that working down is going to help you lift up. As inspired, open it out to the side. You could use that left arm to counterbalance you. Inhale here as you exhale, come on back through center, switch hands and slow and steady cross body. Like you've got that block there, squeeze onto the block, lift the navel, lift your heart and take that leg cross body. Keep pressing down through the standing leg to support the rotation. Again, this could be with your strap or just holding your leg. You might lift the heart, lift the face to turn to look away from the leg, just in your like in your laying down twist. And take your time as you exhale, ankle over knee, same as our laying down. Hands to the heads of your thighs, push in, lengthen spine, sink low, maybe elbows to hand, uh, 
ankle and knee. You could be sitting doing this if needed. Booty could be on the wall as you stand. A little grounding there. Soft jaw, breathe it, long spine. Seat back, low back in, heart lifted. Breaths in the nose. <sighs> Breaths out the mouth. Take pause when you're ready. Shake it on out. Sink it on down. Malasana. You could play here in Malasana. You could simply rest and stretch your back. Rest in any forward fold. Or maybe we'll just add a little arm strength here. A little balance on the hands. Spread your fingers out. Claw your fingertips. Hands as wide as the shoulders. Get the knees strong. Hugging into your Arms, arms pressing back into the legs. Squeeze, squeeze to center. Feel that core work. Stay there. Or maybe shift forward. Pull one foot up. Hug to midline. Maybe both foot up. Keep squeezing to midline. And land your feet forward fold. And as inspired, hug feet to earth, muscles to bones, or root to rise, and roll on up. Take your strap with you if you've got one, if you're using it. <sighs> and shake it out. Feel your body, the difference in the sides. And here we go. Second side. Center strap. Pour weight into the right leg. Slide that left foot up the inseam. Again, you might pause here, hands to knee. You might stay with that knee action the whole time or interlace or rather wrap the strap around the bottom of the ball of the foot and push through as you pull back. Shoulders on the back, lift your heart. Keep a little bounce in that standing leg, a little bend in the knee. Pull shoulders back, lift the heart. Push through the ball of that foot. Spread those toes out. Push into the foot you're standing on. Bounce off the earth. Bounce off gravity. Stay there as you like or hold the strap with that right hand. Turn the toes out to the right a bit and open that leg out to the side. Press through both heels. Pull all toes back to center. Breathe. You could counterbalance with that right arm out. Squeeze to center. Find your core strength. Breathe your yes here. I am. As inspired, take it back through center, switch hands, squeeze those inner thighs. Again, shift that hip down, lift your heart, and cross body, spiral into your twist. Last breath, follow any exhale to release the strap, ankle over knee, hands to heads of femurs, long spine, sink it low, and maybe elbows to ankle and knee or hands to floor or blocks or whatever. Support yourself as needed. Find the variation that's right for you on this side today. <sighs> Please stay as you like or hug to core pick that top foot up, step wide, malasana, yogic squat. And you can always just shake it out as needed there. Dancing is always welcome. As inspired, press the legs wide, lift the heart, squeeze onto the arms. Simply breathe here or take a more forward folding, restorative variation, or maybe... You want to fly again, crows, bakasana, crane pose really, but we say crow. So squeeze those knees high, spread the fingers wide, claw your earth. Inhale, shift forward, squeezing to midline. Maybe exhale, pull the feet up to touch. Push off the earth with your hands. Inhale here and exhale, hop or fly back, plank, chaturanga, up dog or cobra, exhale up and back, downward dog. One final little burst here, pull back from your core, step your feet together, inhale, lengthen out, exhale, pivot and twist, side to side, 
Bend the knees deeply, hips back to the heels. Inhale, center, straighten out. Exhale, pivot and twist, squeeze back, stretch it out. And then roll on over to your right side or your screen viewing side, Vashistasana side plank pose. Maybe you stay here. Maybe bottom arm comes down or bottom shin comes down. Maybe you use all that stretch you've got today and pick your top knee up or possibly your top foot up and press out. Oh, slippery. If by some chance you've got hold of the top foot, you could bring it back and into split or just bring your foot back and down into lunge, any lunge or split or runner's lunge leg extension, five breaths, whatever's right for you, feeling into that space that you made, and melting into it. Even in the uh, split, it's the same thing. You want to push through the feet, squeeze into the core to find your length in the strength that supports the opening. Soft jaw, big breaths in the nose, out the mouth. Please feel free to stay with that as you like or slowly unwind that and make your way through another vinyasa, last vinyasa. And then that little twisty dog dance, big toes touch, pivoting side to side. And then roll it on over to your second side, side plank, hand forward of the shoulder bit. Please modify it as you need to, to be steady here and supported and breathful. Add on as you like, maybe holding top knee, possibly reaching for that top foot, pressing through, lift the heart, ears back over shoulders, wherever you're at. Stay as you like, or possibly take that top leg all the way across and through into a lunge or into Hanumanasana, split. Active feet, spread the toes, press through your feet, squeeze those inner thighs, puff up your heart, big breaths in the nose, out the mouth. Stay as you like, pulse in and out as you like. Last few breaths here. Whatever variations are right for you on this side, in this moment today. Please stay longer if you like or slowly. Just roll on out to a seat. Let's take one final forward fold. And that could be wide-legged if you prefer, or maybe like four breaths in wide-legged and then four breaths in uh, Paschimottanasana or straight-legged. You're welcome to sit up higher, of course, to get that pelvic tilt, the pelvic bowl to pour forward. We wanna get as much length as we can here from pelvic bowl pouring forward, lower back in. Here's another great place where you could use your strap or your block underneath the ball of the feet or the feet in general and press, resist, press, resist. Use that to work low back in, heart forward and melt over your legs. If it's still feeling intense, that's okay. It takes a long time to remind our muscles of the lengths that they have in our connective tissue to reopen. It's part of the brain. We have to uh, breathe safety for ourselves. Breathe ease and compassion for wherever we're at. 
So slowly melting to your edge, maybe even stack up elbows, fists, block, bolster, pillows, whatever you got. Rest your forehead, soften your eyes, soften your jaw and your shoulders. Any variations, we'll have about four more breaths or so. Please stay in that forward fold as long as you like, or gently drape up and maybe pull your feet into any comfortable meditative seat for a little pause. Be sure that you're supported in your seat so your legs don't do that shaky, shaky thing as the groin muscles try to hold them on. You want your legs to be resting on the earth as much as you can. So the hip flexors can relax. Give a little root down to rise up. Lift your heart. Let everything fall in place. Let your eyes gently close. And just notice the aliveness in your body. What energy is present for you right now? How's your breath? Breathe, back of the neck long, rooting rise, heart lifted. Let your inhales be great and full and embrace the entirety of your experience right now. And direct your breath to your yes. Breathe and repeat your mantra, your intention. Breathe it for yourself. I am. I am feeling steady. And as you exhale, you could ripple that out. Imagine that going to someone or somewhere you know needs it. Wishing steadiness for my beloved, for all beings, for any circumstances. Breathing in, I am at ease in body and mind. Breathing out, may my beloved be at ease in body and mind. Breathing in your innate joy, rippling that out. May all beings know their own innate joy. Repeat your mantra or any other uh, practices of Maitriya or friendliness that you would like to extend that word. And in your own time, release any efforting of thought or breath. And simply notice the natural arising and flowing away of each breath and each thought without need to control it.
I encourage you to stay in meditation as long as you like, or as inspired, let yourself simply melt and drape down to the earth to rest in Shavasana or any final resting pose. We'll be here for a few minutes and I'll call us all back out by noon. Sense your body of earth held, supported, nourished by great mother earth. Notice the sky breathing your body of earth. And welcome that breath to deepen and lengthen, breathe and repeat your heart's yes. Let the breath become so bright and full and rich with your yes that you're naturally inspired back to movement. Please stay resting as long as you can if you've got time and choose to. Otherwise, as you inhale these bright breaths, begin to wiggle and sparkle and spiral them out through your fingers and toes, through your wrists and ankles, maybe through your shoulders and your neck, depending on your position. Breathe your body so bright with that, yes, that you're naturally inspired back to whatever movement inspires you.
stretching the arms long. Feel your whole body bright. And follow any exhale to step your feet to the earth, knees bent, and roll to your right. Take pause on your side with the bottom arm as your pillow, top arm hugging the knees in, head close to your heart. As you pause on your side, honor yourself for a moment here. Thank you, body. Thank you, body. And thank yourself for showing up for practice, for all layers of being with courage, with kindness, with patience. And follow any great full breath to gently press into the earth and jury back up to any easy seat. Eyes closed, awareness inward. And sense into the fullness of how you are held and breathed by earth and sky, the receiving and the letting go equal, and the breath as our first and last teacher. So may it be through our lives, the receiving and the giving back equal, allowing yourself to receive, finding that generosity of spirit to give smiles, your intention, your unique offering to the world. And exhale and touch the earth and ground down. Imagine any residual tension or oh, archaic or limiting beliefs washing away, falling away. And giving thanks here to the earth and the powers of transmutation to our ancestors and all the lessons that we've learned from their follies and their successes. Thank you. And to all our teachers on this path, to all those who walk this path with us, thank you. Follow your next inhale to open wide and gather up energetically. Gather up the sky and the energy of our collective practice. Draw the hands together into the crown of the head. May we awaken to our oneness our interconnectedness, and hands to the third eye center. May we see clearly, knowing beyond words, and hands to our mouth. May we speak our truth. May we say what we mean. May we choose our thoughts and words intentionally, and hands to the heart. May we be present for whatever arises with courage, with kindness, with compassion, Exhale and pour your breath out. Inhale your heart's yes, if you will join me. One great ohm to seal our practice. bow in to the light of your own heart and to that same light within all beings. Namaste. And to the earth, Jai Ma. Thank you all for practicing. Thank you for practicing with me. I wish you great balance and equilibrium and steadiness and ease, even in the wobble, 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 unknowing of these times. Ah, may our practice be our refuge. May we be one another's refuge. Let me know if there's any questions or comments or requests at any point. You can find me online, Lucid Yoga or Lucid Movement, YouTube, Facebook, my website, all the things. Uh, if you want to get my newsletter, let me know. I'm actually going to send one out this week. And there's a couple. Uh, unique and exciting events that I'm part of this weekend um, that there'll be links and promotional codes for and such things in that um, newsletter this week. So that's it. Mwah. Drink lots of water, like a lot, a lot of water, especially warm or hot water. Help flush your limbs. You just did so much work. And uh, yay for you. Yay for that. Thanks for being here. I'm going to stop the live stream. See you next time. Oh.